Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Celeste. We are in this mirror temple, I guess. And we have monsters everywhere, which are supposedly created from our own mind. So we need to be quick and careful getting out of here. Just gonna bonk you away. I think I might have skipped that key and it's not going to end well when I need to come back. Okay. Let me check up here. Is that something? Oh, that is something. Let's grab that then. Please hit this. Thank you. Wasn't what I needed, but still. Okay, we've made it to the next section. Theo, I finally found you. I knew you'd make it. It wasn't easy. Are those monsters really coming from inside me? Madeline, that's a valid question. I'll be happy to discuss how the monsters relate to your inner self. But right now my inner self is real. <laughs> real sick of being stuck in this crystal. Oh, right. Don't worry, I'll break you out. Well, this is a solid start, but this crystal is like an expression of my negative uh, psychic <sighs> I don't even know. Psychic energy or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but how do we break it? If I knew why I trapped myself in this thing, maybe I could bust out. But I don't. And I don't think I can get to the bottom of it while stuck in this nightmare dimension. I hate to say it, but you might have to... Theo, don't even think about that. I am not leaving you behind. Hell no. You better not leave me in this place. I was gonna say you might wanna... You might have to carry me. Oh. Yeah, I can do that. So now, with our... grab walls buttons, we can actually carry. Dang, girl, you can lift. So yeah, we need to carry Theo around. We can let go to Throm as well. We just need to make sure he doesn't die though, because if he falls in a pit, we also die. Alright, you got this. So we have to bring him with us as well as getting through each area. Crushing it, that door didn't stand a, ch stand a chance. Uh oh, I hope you know how to deal with these things. I don't... oh my gosh. We can kind of use him to get rid of these monsters. Just like an extra a version of us, I guess. Oh, he can, you can... what? Nah, that's rude. But basically, we need to be very careful with these monsters everywhere chasing after us. Another one? Come on. Poor. Oh. Ow. I think we also need to take Theo with us, or maybe, or maybe not. Either way. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Let me do... that. Please bonk. Okay, we need to go up here. I want to dash into that. Theo can actually hit switches on the side of the walls as well, so... That'll be good. Once we actually need him to... I think you can also hit that, maybe. Oh, this thing is really after me. Please go, 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 go. Okay. Hit that with Theo. Ow, I dashed right into that. I'm helping! Yes, you are, Theo. I don't know how I'm not dying to this thing right now. No! I had to say it, didn't I? That switch is in the spikes, so we can't actually... Can't actually... Dash into it ourselves, we have to use the air. Please go, 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 go. Which might involve bouncing off of this thing. If it doesn't kill me first. 
Which is very difficult, considering how often it respawns itself. Please don't do that. Ah. I don't like when I don't have any options. Don't do that. Ah. I like how we can get him on the switch. Oh, that was close. Can I? No, I can't. I think I do have to bounce. Oh, that's a shame. It's gonna make this really difficult. No, 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 no! Why? I jumped over you. Please. Okay. I'm trying to take it out for a few seconds so I can actually deal with the next bit. Can I please bonk you? I want to bonk you. It's just not that easy. Why? 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 How do you expect me to dodge when I'm carrying Theo? Uh, guess I'm not really expecting myself to do that at all. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Why, 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 why? No. No, no. No. Please. Also, don't let Theo fall into those spikes there because that is a pit. Oh, oh. No. Oh, the strawberry's gone. I have, was trying to get the strawberry with that thing. Anyway, let's throw Theo into there. If I can. Please. Oh my goodness, I'm just too good at throwing. Okay, and then dash to throw him up into the switch. Theo saves the day again. Okay. Oh, there's two, there's two, there's two. Oh. Just run, just run, why, why, why? Run, 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 run. Okay, we're good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can also throw Theo through the spikes to just progress like that. Okay, we're good again. Oh my gosh. How am I? Don't throw him back like that. Hang on. Oh my goodness, please. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> That's what happens when you throw him into a pit. Oh, it's so difficult to get this timing right. It's so difficult to get this timing right. Okay, there we go. Don't dash. I didn't, wasn't trying to dash. Hang on. Okay. We can pick him up on this side. Keep going. My finger is slipping off of the button. We have to be close, I can feel it. Well, at least one of us can. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Everything's closing behind us. But we're getting pushed back by a force. A very strong force. Come on. Almost there. Seizure warning. Throw the crystal at the eyeball. Chapter complete. I always thought Theo would make a great weapon. Twenty-five out of thirty-one. That was a long level. Ninety-three deaths, heart, and the B-side unlocked. Let's keep going. Reflection.
Did you know, it is impossible to outrun your own reflection? Theo, you're awake. Am I? I'm skeptical. I had a messed up nightmare. Yeah, about that. Wait. Oh, yep. It's all coming back to me now. That actually happened. Thanks for getting us out of there. I'm glad we were in it together. I don't know if I could have done that alone. How long was I out for? It must have been a few hours. Man, what a ride. Tell me about it. Are you okay? I mean, aside from the existential crisis? Yeah, I'm fine. Clearly this isn't a normal mountain. What's really going on here? I should have told you sooner. Back at the r old ruins, a part of me escaped from a mirror. A part of me I'm not very proud of. I swear I dreamt it. You think the mountain made her real? Yeah. She's been haunting me the whole time. She lashed out at Mr. Ashiro. I think she was the reason the gondola stalled out. And she was there in the temple. Why didn't you say something? I wouldn't have gone into that temple if I knew this, that what this mountain was capable of. I tried to stop you. You could have mentioned that your demon doppelganger was on the loose. Come on, Theo. <laughs> you know how crazy this sounds. I didn't even believe it myself. Okay, okay. I understand. Next time, just talk to me, though. I promise I'll believe you. Okay. Why is it so easy for you to trust me? Seriously, you barely know me. Honestly, you remind me of my sister. That's adorable. What's she like? Oh, you'd love her. Actually, you might not get along at first, but you'd eventually love her. She's like a literal rock star. She's a musician? That's so cool. Okay, she's not literally a literal rock star. Alex is just amazing at everything. She's studying to be a civil rights law lawyer. Wow, how do I remind you of her? You both live so deep inside your own heads. Oh. Alex has this amazing internal compass. It's obvious that she'll get where she needs to be. I can see that in you two. I wish I could say the same for myself. Thank you, Theo. For believing in me back there, I mean. Believing in you was the easy part. I wish I could have helped. I was pretty useless stuck in that thing. You actually helped a lot. Honestly, I couldn't have made it out without your help, your support. Who do you think built the temple? It looks ancient. It must predate everything else on the mountain. The resort, the ruins, the city. There's a lot of history here. Yeah. This mountain has meant so many things to so many people. I'm starting to understand why that crazy old lady lives here. You ran into her too? What's her deal? I think she's just a mean person. But she does seem pretty content living out here. Your sister sounds great. I really remind you of her? Are you kidding me? You're the one who's dead set on climbing this mountain. And you don't even know why. That's classic Alex. I'm just teasing you. Why are you cl climbing the mountain anyways? You're right, I don't even know why. I just had to get out of my head. I'm stuck in a cycle. 
You're preaching to the choir here. I've had many a soul-destroying day job. Work is act fine, actually, I just... I'm going crazy. I can't stop thinking about dumb crap that doesn't matter. My brain fixates on these stupid things that happened forever ago. I should be over them. None of it even matters. I'm good at keeping up appearances, but the truth is I'm barely holding it together. I'm sorry, that's pretty rough stuff. Can I help? You're already helping. It feels good to stay, say it out loud. You don't talk to anyone about it. No, not really. My mum knows I get depressed, and I have panic attacks. That's about it. No wonder you feel trapped. How do you cope with anything? I drink, mostly. And get mad at people on the internet. How about you? What brought you to the mountain? I'm just kind of bumming around, as usual. I started this new job in Seattle. I thought I finally knew what I was supposed to be doing with my life. But I hated it. So I quit after a week and hoped a bus hopped a bus to Canada. I just felt this urge to get lost in the middle of nowhere. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize how flaky it sounds. It just sounds like you're under a lot of pressure. Not really. <laughs> Everyone is so patient with me. Though I guess I am putting a lot of pressure on myself. People always think I'm comparing myself to Alex, but I swear, that isn't the problem. I'm just worried that I'll never figure out where I'm going. You said you wanted to feel lost? Maybe you should embrace that for now. Maybe. Would you mind talking about what depression is like? It sucks. <laughs> yeah, but what does it feel like? Alex struggles with it too. I really want to understand. We can talk about something else if you want. It's like... I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I can't see anything in any direction. It's claustrophobic, yet I feel exposed. I remember feeling normal. But now it just feels out of reach, no matter what I try. Then again, I was probably always messed up. It just took something hurtful to bring it out. There must be something wrong with me. Whatever happened, I'm sure it's not your fault. I guess I thought of that I could... I don't know. I'm just floating in the abyss, swimming in a random direction. Hoping that I find... something. That's really why I'm here. But I can't escape myself. I'm literally fighting myself the entire way. Maybe this is all pointless. Madeline, you just saved my life. That's not pointless. Yeah. Look, you're a good person. You're a little intense, but you're a good person. I think you're just trying to push out of that rut you're stuck in. And that's a totally legit reason to climb the mountain. Maybe. That's helpful. This part of you that's haunting you, maybe that she comes with a territory. So you think I'm stuck with her forever? Well, she's stuck with you too. That's not helpful. So you want to destroy this part of you? Won't, hurt, won't that hurt you too? If I don't, she's just going to keep bullying me. She says she's protecting me, but that's obviously not true. Maybe she thinks she is. She could be some kind of twisted defense mechanism. Honestly, who cares? She has so much control over me. I hate it. Maybe you can learn to control her instead. The feather helps a lot. Thanks for teaching me that. Just one of my grandpa's many nuggets of wisdom.
Are you close to your grandpa? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's just how it is. All I can do is stay positive and live a meaningful life because that's what he would want. I'm so sorry, Thea. Thanks. What else did you learn from your grandpa? So much stuff. Actually, he was the one who told me about Mount uh, Celeste Mountain. He always said that this place changed his life. After I quit my job in Seattle, I realized how close I was to it. I felt like he was telling me to come here. Grandpa said the mountain was special. Do you think he went through the temple like us? Do you think he understood the power of the mountain? He never talked about it, about what happened here. I doubt your grandpa was as messed up as me. His experience was probably less violent. He found the mountain before I was born. I don't know what he was like before that. I wonder what he learned about himself here. Why not take a vacation instead? What do you mean? Dude, you need to needed a change, so you chose to climb a mountain? Why not do something relaxing instead? Go to Hawaii or like, take a bath. I guess I felt like I needed to accomplish something. It sounds like you have enough on your plate already. I guess it is kind of extreme. But that's how I am. I need something to challenge me. And I can't just do something a little bit. It's all of me or nothing. You know what? I want to remember this night. Let's take a selfie. I thought you'd never ask. You know, despite everything, I feel pretty good right now. Wait a second. You're going to reach the summit tomorrow. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, I'm ready to put this all behind me. I'll be cheering you on. We should get some sleep. Okay, good night, Thea. Thanks for being cool. What can I say? It comes naturally. We can grab these feathers to fly around. Just need to make sure that we chain them together to keep going. We need to dash through the ones with bubbles around them. Let's keep going up. The northern lights are so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Where are we? We needed to talk. Okay. I finally understand who you are. You're not my true reflection. I'm not. You're everything I needed to leave behind. You're cruel, paranoid, controlling. Why would you say that? No, it's okay. I understand now. I don't need you anymore. So you're just abandoning me? I'm setting you free. We'll both be so much happier. You're so... So... So stupid! You think you can just leave me behind? You think you can blame everything on me? You think you, you're above me? Answer me! Calm down, please! Calm down! Breathe, Madeline. Use the feather.
You're going to think about the feather to stop me. You are not above me. And you can't climb this mountain. It's time to accept that. Madeline, what's happening? We've fallen from the, near the top of the mountain all the way down to even below the mountain, technically. Lost all of our progress that we've made. It's basically not even worth continuing at this point. We can dash into the sides of this thing, though. To make it go in the direction that we dash it into it. And yeah. There's also more of these feathers here. We can use to go try to get out of this hole. Hopefully I'm not missing anything here. It'd be very easy to have secret walls. It's very cool that we have that much control over ourselves when we have the feathers. Ow. Okay. Let's go in this little area here. Oh, oh. That was close. Okay. Oh, that's not really... A good spot to run out of juice. Okay, there's another one of these things here. Let's use it to go up. Oh, I need to actually jump off of that. Okay. Another checkpoint. There must be a secret in here. Somewhere. I was so close. It's over now. Why won't she leave me alone? I hate her. But she's part of me. I'll never be able to get rid of her. And she was right. I couldn't climb the mountain. Down. Oh, I might actually be able to break the wall down here, possibly. Oh, I got crushed. That's not a great way to do that. Oh, come on. Nope, missed. I'm pretty sure there's a secret here if I can actually get this thing to crash where I want it to. This thwomp like thing. Don't crush me! <sighs> I can see that thing in the wall, so I'm, I'm assuming that that's actually a thing that I need to look at. Yeah, there we go. This is the B-side, actually, so... Let's take a look at this room. It's quite a long room. Let's see if we can make it through. Nope. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pink in a row. Nope, wrong timing. No, touch the thing. Nope, again, did it too early.
Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think I actually need to possibly jump earlier. No, not. I nearly jumped off of that again. Oh my goodness. Why am I doing so badly at this room? There we go. Got the B-side for the fall. But anyway, I think now that all that's done, I think it's time to leave it here for the moment. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for the continuation.